Hello? Hello? Hey, Kendra. Hey, baby. Like, you ready? You got wine in your hand? I, look, I'm so ready for you. I was like, Kendra, I look so cute tonight. I got my hair done just like you. And I look, you need to name your wig Fire. F I. Fire. <laughs> fire. Okay. Fire. Because it's so radiant. Fire. So, I can't see. People were saying Jessica the Rabbit. I didn't want to do Jessica the Rabbit. Fire. That's basic. That's basic. <laughs> well, thank you, sweetheart. What's your name, baby? So, my name is Tay. Um, my Instagram is Coco Brownie, C O K O underscore Brownie. Coco Brown? Brownie. Like. Okay, but what do you want me to call you, Tay? Yes, call me Tay. Where are you calling us from, honey? So I am from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised. I am a Southern Belle. Okay. How old are you? I am 30 years old. 30 years old. Um, and what do you do for a living? So I'm a project manager too, but I'm an implementation project manager. Yeah, that's a popular job I've been hearing lately. Yes, I work in the financial technology industry. Okay. And what's your zodiac sign? I am a Taurus, a full blown Taurus. I'm the start. April 22nd, Earth Day is my birthday. So I'm just like. I'm a Taurus, that's May 7th. That's my birthday. I know. All right, that's fine though. This is Tay, Atlanta, Georgia, 30, Taurus, a project manager. Do you have any kids? No, I don't have any kids yet, but that's what I desire. Okay, well, let's get into it. What kind of man are you looking for? So. Kendra, I need a man who is healthy for me, who is healthy for my mental health. I need a man who has a generous personality. I need a man who believes in traditional values when it when it comes to being a man. I need a man who take care of their responsibility and is also has the capacity to take care of mine as well. Um, not all of mine because I'm self-sufficient. But I just want to be able to be in my soft girl era. Like, I want to have the soft life. I've always seen it. I hear people say it. I want to experience it, too. Um, I also would like a man who is patient and who's understanding and who knows how to communicate very well. Because I would love to have longevity. Okay, okay. You thought about this. Girl, I watch your show all the time. So I don't be playing no games. I knew what I look. I was intentional today. I was like, Lord, I look good. I feel good. I need a man. It is cold as hell here in Atlanta. It's and I'm just ATL? Listen, it's so cold, Kendra. I had on my bubble jacket today. It was that cold. And I have two babies, two little dogs. Oh, I don't have babies. Let me specify. I have two dogs that I have to walk. So I have to be outside all the time walking them, and it is freezing. So it's cuddle season upon us, and I need the matching pajamas. Woo! And she needs the matching pajamas. Okay, what's some deal breakers? So I don't have any kids. I would prefer my mate to not have any kids because I want to start a family with someone, but I am at that age where a lot of people don't have kids and a lot of people do have kids. But I would prefer someone who don't have kids. Another deal breaker is someone who is a pathological liar, someone who just lies about anything. I don't like liars. Um, another deal breaker would be someone who's not, someone who doesn't take care of themselves emo emotionally, mentally, physically, like I'm working on myself now and I want to be able to share that with somebody who's working with their self, but who's more advanced than I am. I would say, I need a man I can learn from. I need somebody I can learn from. Okay, I love it. You got somebody that can teach you some things. That I could, yes. Okay. Exactly. Um, so you prefer a guy with no kids because you don't have any kids? I do prefer a guy who has no kids. Okay. Um, does he have to look a certain way? I ain't got no type. <laughs> I no, no I do. He has, he has to be, a, he does have to be attractive. Um, when it comes to looking a certain way, I do prefer chocolate men. And I do prefer men who are taller than me. Um, I'm five six, so five six and up. But it's more. 
I'm not even gonna say that. I'm a sweetheart. And I feel like it's more about the emotional and mental compared to the physical. If I feel like you like me, if I feel like you are invested in me, then I'm gonna invest in you and I'm gonna like you too. Okay, fair enough. What about money? Does he make a certain amount of money? Does he make a certain amount of money? He has to. Kendra, I yes. You want me to tell you why? I just got into a situation with someone I was talking to and I asked him for a simple request. Can you please give me like something simple? I'm not gonna I'm I i do not want to say it, but no, say the, it. We gotta know. What okay, so I asked him for a bag of dog food for my dog. Okay. And I was like, could you get stop and get a bag of that? He was like, can you cash at me? I'm like, cash at you? What? For a, do a bag of dog food? Now, I could buy the dog food, but at the time, I just couldn't leave my house or I was expecting just some type of reciprocity. Like, I cook. I make sure he's good and I asked him for a simple request and he couldn't do it. And I was just like, wow. Oh, wow. So all she wanted was some dog food, child, and he couldn't afford to get you dog food. But it's like, I can't, I put myself into these situations because of the type of heart that I have. I'm a very kind hearted person and I feel like I give people too many chances over and over and over again. Now that was just a little simple request. And I just felt like he, he could have did something or at least said he could do it on the back end or something. I don't know. I just feel like I give a lot and I expect to see myself and other people and I don't see that. Okay. Fair enough. All right. Um, so that's why he has to make us some amount of money. So is there a dollar amount? Yes. So the dollar amount would be over 95. Ooh, child, you got expensive dog food. Shit. They, they eat heels and they eat, um, what is it? Cow bones. They eat, they do eat. Let me show you my dog. Come here, Mimi. Mimi. Come here. Come here. You're going to see my dog. You're going to be like, this is what she eat. This is Malia. Hi, Malia. <laughs> That's the doodle. That's the doodle. And this is Mazir. Hey, oh, hi. So sweet. <laughs> um, Kendra Kennel. They say Kendra Kennel. Rest in peace to my dog, Philadelphia, who was the joy of my life. And she was extremely spoiled. Um, and oh. she's in doggy heaven. Um, she went to doggy heaven, I want to say two years. I think it's my mom, two years now. Shouts, well, no. I've been doing this show for three years. Philadelphia went, was it? It wasn't last year. The year before last. So yeah, it's two years. It'll be two years in November. That well, well you want to share them. Time. You they need they no, they need I mean, an auntie. Come I'm, on. I'm gonna be quite transparent. I will never get another dog only because I knew that's not what she wanted. She was very spoiled, very possessive, Aww. very jealous. So um, she was my one and only dog, but I understand doggy love. But let's not get off tangent. So ninety five k okay. for you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Dog Starting at ninety five k. It is. You already know heels, and then their treats, their grooming, especially for her. Her grooming is about eighty dollars every time, and that's every month. And then their medications, like their child too, their children too. And you want this man to contribute at times? Contribute at times, yes. I would love a man to contribute at times. You don't have to take care of me fully because I'm a grown ass woman, but at the same time, where I lack, that's what I expect for you to pick up. Let's do the Kendra Cam. Oh, okay. Now, Miss Kendra, I have lost a little bit of weight. You look good. <laughs> so, Miss Kendra. Just a little bit. Okay, okay. All right, so Tay, right? Yes, Tay. Tay. So, Tay, do you want kids? I do want kids. I want God to bless me with some twins. You want twins? Okay. What's the age range you would date? 
So the age range I would date since I'm 30, I would say about 35 and up only because I don't feel like a lot of men around my age are mature enough. So I would say 35 and up. 35 and up. Okay. Does he have to be in Georgia? If you could fly me out, you could you could definitely be my friend. You could well, definitely be my man if you could fly me out. If he's not in Georgia, he has to fly you out? Yes, he does. Is he getting some when he flies you out? Yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm grown. What you mean? Of course. Especially my man, my man. I want that my man. <laughs> okay, well let's I mean he's well if he if you guys are just meeting, he's is he your man yet? He wouldn't be your man yet, right? So I'm not gonna fly out when I first speak to the person, and I'm not gonna fly out like within the first few weeks. Me getting to know someone is gonna take at least for me to fly out is going to take at least a month and a half, two months, three months. Like it has to, we have to build a three rapport. Three months of you like not meeting each other in person? Yeah. Well, hopefully a little bit sooner than that, but we have to make a rapport. We have to actually build a connection. Now I'm grown. So if anything was to pop off, it was, it was mutually beneficial for both of us. Hopefully, if you know what I mean. But I'm not going to be the type of person that's not going to give it up. I mean, I'm a lady, but at the same time, I'm a lady. She's a lady. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. So when was your last relationship? So my last relationship was two years ago. Two years ago. You don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? A lady never tells. What are three flaws you have to work on? So three flaws I have to work on would be, number one, um, I make real good money, but my financial security, like savings and stuff like that, I want to work on like my savings, my credit a little bit more. I want to work on just improving me as a person financially. Um, second, Secondly, Another thing I want to work on is my patience. My patience is a little bit thin. I don't have time for BS. I, that's why I'm single now is because I cut people off. I'm quick to cut people off if I feel like it's not a mutually beneficial connection. I'm quick to cut people off if I feel like it's one-sided. Like I just, that's what I want to work on. And another thing that I want to work on is Another thing I would like to work on is just my outer appearance. Continue to work on that. Um, I've been working out ver regularly for the past few months. I've lost like mm, 60 pounds since April. Like if you look at my before pictures from April to, well, from December of last year to now, I have really like invested in myself. And I, another thing I want to work on is giving myself grace. Like, I have achieved so much. I have went through a lot of things, but I don't give myself grace enough. Okay, okay. And why would a guy be lucky to be with you? So, I believe a guy will be lucky to be with me because I am charismatic. I believe that I, strong, I show a strong sense of empathy. Um, I'm also kind hearted. Um, like I, I just, I'm fun. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know how to describe me in a, in a way that would make somebody who doesn't know me want me more than to just look at me and see that I have been through so much, but I'm not who I, I'm not what I look like. Like, I'm not what I've been through. And if people knew my backstory, then they would be like, oh my gosh, like, I would want to be with you because you have endured so much. You have uh, went through so much stuff, but you have always been able to bounce back. 
Like I've always been able to bounce back. And then I'm, I invest in people. I like to make sure that somebody is able to grow themselves, invest in their business. Like I, I just love to invest. As you well. Okay, listen, I think you're pretty dope. I think you're dope. So let's do it. Tay, no kids, Atlanta, well, Atlanta, Georgia. She's 30, a tourist project manager. She'll date 35 and up. Prefers a man that does not have children, correct? Mm -hmm. She definitely wants to have children. You got to have a coin because she has two fur babies, 95K and up. If you're not in the Georgia area, you will have to fly her out, but you will receive a treat when she arrives. You may, you may, you, you may. might receive a treat when she yes. arrives. When I, I arrive. think here's, yes. here's I think the commonality for because I don't really here's the deal. like you gotta know the mindset, right? So do I think if a guy buys you a plane ticket, you should give him some? No, I don't. But no. that might be mm -mm. the expectation. So to avoid that expectation, you can always meet in the middle, or maybe he comes to you. But are you willing for that? Yeah, I'm willing to take that as well. If you could come to me, that would be great too. As long as we're able to meet each other. As long as we're able to build a connection, build a bond. But I'm going to just be real with you. I'm grown. If we were, if I was to fly out and if there was a physical attraction, if there was a mental attraction and emotional attraction, then things may proceed. But I don't just give it to everybody. <laughs> she don't give everybody, give everybody, but she is grown. She had to remind me of that again. We got you, boo. All right, let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you? So you can follow my Instagram at Coco Brownie, C O K O underscore Brownie, and you can request me, and then I'll add you, or you send me a DM, and then I'll reply back. But I'm kind of like in a space where I'm private on my Instagram. But if you actually reach out to me, then I'll respond. And there you have it. All right, baby girl. Will you keep me posted how it goes? All right. Thank you. I will. And Kendra, you are so beautiful. Don't forget fire now. Fire. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, Coco. Tay, give me that name. Fire. Okay. Fire. Right. Bye, baby. <laughs> Bye. Have a good one. Me too.